hi everyone welcome back to your channel in today's tutorial I would like to explain how you can install influx DB version 3 so if you are interested in this topic please stay with me until end and let's get started uh, the first uh, topic which I want to highlight here this is the official website of the influx tv you can uh, just google it and then uh, influx tv and you will find it then after you uh, navigate to the influx tv website you will find it such this kind of the we can say that uh, the page it just uh, come here click need to window then it will navigate you to this page so this page you will find some new uh, versions for influx db version 3 which uh, some of them are related to cloud and uh, yeah that, that's all but I'm going to install on my Windows machine so we will come here come down scroll down then you will find that value so um, I'm going to install this uh, because I did uh, influx DB as a one uh, package zip package and then let's see how we can do that okay I already installed the package so this is this is the the package I already extracted so what we need to do when you are extracting such this kind of the file will be shown for you just come to the cmd in this page and then uh let's get back to the official website to see how it will need to be run uh there is the one item here get started and mm -hmm. yes i think no that's not the case that is not guys let me see where it was mm -hmm. yeah okay i think it was here set up core and yeah that that is uh actually you need to write such this command for connecting or uh we can say starting your server and if we scroll up a little bit here has explained about this command uh what we should do for influx db as a serve and what is the meaning of that and then you have to define the not this is the not id that's good for cluster and recognition of the the not and then you need to define the object store whether if you use the file means in local system and if you want to be in memory or if you want to be in uh, S3 or Google and Azure, so all these cases can can be done. So for my case, I'm going for file because uh, I'm trying to use in the local machine, and then uh, also there is the uh, data directory. If you use this by default, it will create the one folder by default for you and drop this information but if you have some specific directory you can define your directory for uh, we can say that item so I'm, I'm going to drop this uh, command and then let's see how it will start okay let's get back to this part and uh, you can see I drop this as a host 
zero one I have defined here and object storage file and data directory same as what they refer here you go okay now the server is up and running but there is a one point here guys uh, in version 3 there is no available uh, we can say the web uh, UI part like a version 2 and everything you need to do it in backend although there is a solution which later I will explain about that you can use a Grafana definitely it's in my next uh, session about that but uh, just I want to highlight here there is no such this kind of the web UI in uh, for a local uh, install on machine uh, not available uh, let's jump to the UI and then we'll show you how it will happen okay uh, 81 80, 81 81 okay so let me Look, guys, when you are trying to uh, connect with this local host, it's showing you something which will not. It's giving you some uh, error as a it's not authenticated. Why? Because you need to create the one token for this uh, uh, influx. TV. Then let get back to the website to see how we can create the token if we scroll down here there is a one command like this command for admin you can use this command to create the token okay so I'm going again here the one CMD and let drop this here here you go you have the one uh, token here and you need to store this token this token is your admin token which will use for communicating with the system so if you now you want to uh, communicate with the system there are multiple uh, actually solution which here you can you can check uh, either with the with the token and and so on so let find out one of these case and to see uh, the system is working now fine or not okay I have uh, this command here and I want to try this command uh, to check whether there is a database or no so I have the uh, influx DB three show database and here is a token so uh, I have prepared this because I dropped the token here and then uh, let me copy and uh, paste it here before I have done here you go you see here there are some uh, database as a default and if you want to define the database also you can define it uh, here you can define what you want to create a database let create the one database as a my DB think I need to change the token here you need to you need to always to give the token to this system when you want to give as a, a write or read you need use the token so in flux db3 create database and give it a name and this is a token let's try it then let's remove it
okay created successfully and then again I want to see here you go I have my DB here and I, I already created one database at here so again that this is for uh, creation of the database and then if you need to write some data here you can find the information about the right data just um, going very quickly through this process here uh, you have the table name you have some tag name and also field and you need to drop uh, the time stamp and here as explained about uh, what is for example the table name uh, how is the tag and also field which is could be the data as a temperature humidity and also uh, for uh, the time stamp and here there are some some example which you need to uh, look at this one identify okay i already uh, created some sample for myself just to let me just change this token my previous token was here and here i need to change it so what i said is influx db as a right this is my db and this is the token which i am doing and here is a position uh, position uh, for uh, it's for nanosecond if i'm not mistaken it was here somewhere i saw here but anyway it's it's about the this is for the nanosecond and I just made some uh, look uh, like a weather location and also temperature humidity and this is uh, uh, you need to write in this format about the date time yeah this is this is something so let's write this data and then check it together okay now is success and if you want to query the data again also here uh, explain that how you can query you know this is this is the format for writing the the data as a database token and also accuracy of that uh for here yeah the mention yeah here is a query data let's see for query here mentioned about the influx db query and you need to mention about the database name and then uh you you will write down as a select everything from that uh table and then also uh based on the date time and so on so again for query also you need to write down the token so token also is required uh, let me let look at my query i wrote as an influx db3 query and this is the host name you need to write your db name and also again the, the api which is required token api let me change it and then i just mentioned select everything from weather which I defined it here and order by time okay let's go and check it here you go you see this is the humidity this is the location this is the temperature and this is the time stamp so I think uh, for now that is okay for uh, writing the data define the database and one more important point is that uh, for we can say that the when you are defining the data 
which was for defining the data just I wanted to say when you for the measurement uh, you just need for the first time to drop that information and then yeah right data yeah here for the table you just need to write the table name and the values and then uh, by default it will uh, trigger this information it will write into table so you don't need to define it separately with the separate command just with the one uh, the, the first data which you are pushing to into influx DB it will be uh, written in into the database uh, yeah that that is all it is uh, I think the website of influx DB is the best reference for uh, make it clear for yourself just I try to explain it a little bit how you can uh, uh, install this influx TV version 3 and how you can uh, write the data or how you can uh, query uh, again the version 3 has no uh, UI base you can use a Grafana to uh, get the, some uh, we can say that uh, dashboard or some UI to get the, the data as a KPI which in my next session I will explain about that so please stay tuned I will uh, explain in the next session about it, how you can uh, connect with the influx DB version 3 with the Grafana and see the data Thank you again and if you have any question please drop your questions in comment below definitely I will take into account and get back to you in right time. And if you think this video was helpful please don't forget the like button and also if you didn't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe and support me. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.